the sake. Let's talk now, though, uh, about something rather interesting because everyone's talking about William Shatner going up into space. It's all over the papers this morning. Uh, William Shatner, at the age of 90, has piled himself, hurled himself into the void, as they might have said in uh, the time of Flash Gordon, uh, with no idea of who or what he might meet out there. And there's this kind of uh, rather what I would call unseemly space race going on between the likes of Jeff Bezos uh, and Elon Musk, two of the world's wealthiest billionaires. Richard Branson's been involved in it as well. I think for 250,000 quid, you can get a seat on one of these things and you can go up into the space and talk about it to your friends. I'm not quite sure why people would do it. But Prince William uh, has come out today and basically said that, you know, uh, these people should do something else with their money. He basically says that uh, they've got the world's greatest brains. They should focus on saving the planet. Now, I'm not so sure... Uh, that I go along with his idea of saving the planet, because I'm not sure that us pathetic earthlings can do such a thing, because in the end, uh, you know, the planet is going to do what the planet is going to do, like volcanoes will volcano, as they say, down in the, uh, the Canary Islands. What are you going to do? You're staring at that volcano that's spewing hot lava into the into the air, uh, toxic, terrible um, you know, gases all over the place. That can't be good for the climate, can't be good for the environment. Far worse than anybody driving around uh, in a Range Rover around the M25. But let's talk now, though, to Jason Reed, head of Young Voices UK, because um, I think William's right. I'm going to find out whether he agrees with me. Jason, a very good morning to you. Good morning, Mike. Great so, to be back with you. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. I mean, I'm not saying I, enjoy, I agree with every single part of what Prince William has said, but I think he's right. I think he's got a point when he says that these billionaires are simply kind of showing off really aren't they and shouldn't they be doing something a bit more worthwhile i don't agree i think that kind of attitude would make technological progress impossible it stands directly against innovation which improves all of our lives and we see this kind of thing all the time you know some ambitious young entrepreneur invents some new gadget that lets you i don't know turn the lights off with a remote control and he's really happy about it and then some uninvited busybody comes along and says oh why didn't you save the donkeys instead it's his money it's his time leave him alone yeah but he's not really innovating is he i mean i accept that uh, you know teslas are very good cars and uh, they're very expensive and i'm sure he's doing very well for himself but it's not really an innovation to fire yourself up into space uh, which is going to cost everybody so much money that they can't afford to do it and then come straight back down again they're not doing anything up there but by researching and by doing more practice runs, we're getting closer to a point where everyone can afford it. That's the whole point. Everyone said that the Wright brothers were bonkers for inventing the aeroplane. And now air travel is the great leveler. And I think it's one of the one of humanity's best ever achievements is we've got to a point where people can afford to go on holiday every summer to Spain, even if they're um, working class, not earning a huge amount of money. And space travel might well be the same in a few decades time if it goes wrong. It's only Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and Richard Branson who have wasted their money. So we've got nothing to lose. I say go for it. Yeah, but I mean, the point about the Wright brothers, and I'm not sure you're right to say that everybody castigated them, because, I mean, when you uh, when you were living at that time, you couldn't fly anywhere. You didn't, nobody could, could go anywhere. You couldn't hop across to Dublin in a plane because there was no such thing. So I can't imagine that people wouldn't have wanted that because it was a new experience. But travelling is not now... Uh, difficult unless you happen to uh, uh, live in a country where uh, Britain, uh, like Britain, uh, you can't actually go anywhere without having had a vaccination. But I mean, going up into space just for the sake of it, it's not exactly, I'm not sure until somebody, I suppose, uh, creates some kind of virtual world where you can go uh, and do anything you want and have a great holiday because it's all kind of virtual and it's all been made up and it's all been created for you. Um, I'm not going, frankly. Well, you don't have to go. and That's your choice, but I quite like to go if it becomes... Uh, accessible within my lifetime, which I think seems likely if it, if we continue down this road. I think the problem with what Prince William is saying is that he's he's effectively just in favour of virtue signalling. He'd rather that Jeff Bezos talked a lot about the trees and about plastic straws and didn't really make any actual progress with technology and innovation. But technology and innovation improve all of our lives. They've improved our quality of life. They make it possible for us to get richer, for us to get happier. Um, and there are lots of people in the world, I'm sure, who would love to go up um, into space and maybe do some Mars tourism, the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, I suppose so. But, you know, it just does seem a little self-indulgent, doesn't it? And I mean, I sort of want Prince William to be a bit stuffy. You know, I'd rather him uh, say what he said rather than have him be sort of, you know, oh, we're all down with the kids or maybe could I go please next? That's true. Prince William probably as part of the royal family isn't the right person to be uh, following William Shatner into Jeff Bezos' rocket. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, this kind of technology, it's, I think it's a good thing for everyone. I think you're right that Elon Musk and those kinds of people probably aren't the most pleasant people in the world. There's a lot of egoism going on. They're competing with each other. But if you think back to the last 
space race we had with um, the Cold War and mutually assured destruction and all of that. This is far preferable to that. In this case, it's a few billionaires competing against each other in the leaderboard of who's got the most money and who's uh, achieved the most things in terms of getting into space and, and perfecting the technology. There's much, much less at stake because it's just it's the private sector. It's not our money going into it. Um, and so there's a huge amount of potential reward here and, and no cost for you and me, as far as I can see. Yeah. And uh, what about the aliens, though, Jason? Because obviously there is the question of, you know, what's out there? Well, you never know. I mean, the universe is a big place. We've not been to much of it. Maybe they've got a solution to to the environmental problems we've got. Maybe they've got a solution to pandemics. We don't know. Let's go and find out. Yeah, but also there might be some, something horrible out there as well. You know, they might, I mean, we talk about COVID. I mean, imagine if they brought back uh, some kind of vile, ghastly, you know, sort of very, very infectious killer disease. Well, that would serve us right for going beyond our... Well, there you go. <laughs> you see, they haven't even <laughs> thought of that. And I mean, I didn't they take a William Shatner because he used to play a spaceman. I mean, what's the point of that? I think it's great. I think the aliens would feel sorry for us, if anything. They'd want to... Um, they'd want to help us. Who wouldn't want to help us, Mike? So are you signing up for this nonsense then, Jason? Are you get putting your name on the dotted line? I am fully up for it. I'm, I must admit, I don't have the money to do it at the moment, but maybe in a few decades' time, mm. when it becomes a bit more accessible, costs the same as a, 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 you know, a flight to Mars, costs the same as a flight to Spain, count me in. Yeah, well, I mean, it might be the other way around. It might be that the travel to, it, to, to Europe becomes so expensive, it's actually costing the same to go to Spain as it does to go to Mars. But that's another, another thought for you. Jason, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Jason Reid there uh, says he doesn't agree with me. He thinks Prince William is wrong to criticise uh, Messrs Bezos and the rest because, in fact, uh, they are doing something very cool, uh, which we should all be very grateful for. I just think it's a bit mad.